If you accidentally modified or deleted data in a shared folder or LUN, you can retrieve your data by downloading a previous snapshot of the file through snapshot replication. You can do this by signing in using an account belonging to the administrators group and selecting a previous snapshot to replace the current shared folder or LUN. Or you can directly copy the previous snapshot to create a new shared folder or LUN. In this video, we will show you how to restore local snapshot data to your device. You'll find the timestamp of each section in the video description. Before you start, make sure that you're using an account belonging to the administrators group. First, we will demonstrate how to restore files from your NAS. Go to Snapshot Replication. Click Recovery, Shared Folder, and choose the shared folder that you want to restore. Click Recover. Select the snapshot version that you want to recover, and click Browse. The system will launch FileStation and direct you to the shared folder where the snapshot file versions are located. Right-click on the file and click Preview to confirm the content before downloading the selected file. Right-click on the file and select Download or Copy to Move to to recover the file. Next, we will demonstrate how to restore files on Windows 10 using SMB. If you want to restore files that have been changed, open File Explorer, type two backslashes, the server name of your NAS, and the shared folder name in the address bar. Right-click on the file and select Properties, Previous Version. Select the version that you wish to recover and click Restore, Restore. Click OK when you're done. If you want to restore deleted files, right-click on the folder and select Properties, Previous Version. Select the snapshot version where the deleted file exists and click Open. Right-click on the deleted file and select Copy to recover it. If your data was deleted from a shared folder, Follow the instructions in this section. Using an account belonging to the administrators group, go to Snapshot Replication and click Recovery. Shared Folder. Choose the shared folder that you want to restore and click Recover. Select the snapshot that you want to use to restore the shared folder, then click Browse to see if the chosen snapshot contains all of the files you need. Click Action and select a mode according to your needs. In this example, we chose Restore to this snapshot. We recommend that you keep Take a Snapshot Before Restoring ticked in case you need to restore the files back to their current state. Ticking the Restore the Settings of the Shared Folder checkbox will make sure that the system restores all of the shared folder settings, including shared folder quota, user's quota, privileges, Advanced Settings, and SMB Settings. Click OK, and the system will start restoring the shared folder. Next, we will demonstrate how to restore a shared folder on Windows 10 using SMB. Open File Explorer. Type two backslashes and the server name of your NAS in the address bar. Right-click on the shared folder and select Properties Previous version. Select the snapshot version that you want to recover and click Restore, Restore. Click OK when you're done.
If your data was deleted from iSCSI LUN and you'd taken a snapshot of it previously, follow the instructions in this section. First, disconnect iSCSI from the host server. Then, go to Snapshot Replication. Click Recovery, LUN. Select the iSCSI LUN that you want to restore. Click Recover, and select the snapshot that you want to use. Click Action, and select a mode according to your needs. If you choose Restore to this snapshot, the iSCSI LUN will be restored to this snapshot completely, and any changes made to this LUN since the snapshot was created will be lost. Click Restore to apply the settings. Once the restoration process is complete, make sure to reconnect iSCSI to the host server. If you choose Clone with a new name, Enter the LUN name and click Clone to apply. Then you should be able to see a new LUN in iSCSI Manager. After the cloning process is complete, make sure to map the new LUN to the existing or newly created target, as well as to reconnect it to the host server. To learn more about snapshot replication, subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.